Hello, our action comes to you from the English Midlands, from the King Power Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And live action coming up from the Carabao Cup. It's Leicester City, and they face Middlesbrough. Is it going to be? Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Who can they pick out? And first-class defending, cleared off the line. In search of space. Pratt. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. Ianacho. Ianacho! And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So Barrow restart the game. A wake-up call for their players, perhaps. Can they find a response? Very quick thinking there. They've won possession back. What can they do from here? Ian Atcher. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, able to close down the shot. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. A decent effort, but the keeper read it all the way. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Delivered into the area here. And given away. Let's fly here! Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Novak. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Well, Leicester have certainly dominated possession over the last 15 minutes, creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. Well, first they have a bit of defending to do. And he's gone and scored to level it again! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So back underway following the equaliser. Fatawu Isahaku. Well shown inside. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Ramsey. Could be a chance to break here. And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Ianacho. 
and he could really get at the opposition well nothing productive really and so we've reached the halfway mark here in the East Midlands well such is the lot of an attacking player some days it works for you on other days not at all Stuart well he's been very quiet so far he just hasn't got away from his marker he needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper away they go again second half is underway here Ramsey might be able to set up the chance but it looked as though he might be onto something but his timing left a bit to be desired yeah that's frustrating because he's just been too impatient there he doesn't need to make his movement quite so early moving forward effectively Iheanacho has it oh that is a superb save well we've been wondering for a while now would it happen for Manchester United now it has happened on the transfer front Stuart well, oh he's through and go here Derek well a poor effort when all was said and done and simple for the keeper well he's made a real mess of that hasn't he what a chance that was Isahaku Dennis Pryat bodies forward and the break looks on oh fancy footwork and under pressure that was a fine claim Crooks Ramsey has it Isahaku And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Can't miss, surely. And a goal in the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? It's a corner. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Played over. Determined defending. It might still be problematic. Well read to ease the pressure. Just ten minutes to go. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Chance to do damage. Couldn't keep it. Oh, it might be. And the keeper more than equal to it. So making the substitution now. Playing it in, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Oh, 
super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Delivering it. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Real chance. He's missed the chance, and they're still behind, Stuart. Well, you always hope for one more big chance in the game, and that was it. Not sure they'll get another now. And that's it, the final whistle, and the hosts will go through. Well, Derek, that was a tough game. They had to work really hard to edge it. Credit to them, though, they didn't have it all their own way, but they showed a lot of character and resilience, which will hold them in good stead going forward into the next round. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today. All right, just a couple of questions for you. Thanks, that'll be all for today. Hi everyone, welcome. We're going to take questions one at a time. Okay guys, uh, we've got to wrap... And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Birmingham City facing Leicester City. Big chance. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. And a throw in for Leicester City. And the lineup for Leicester City. Wilfred and Didi start alongside James Madison in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. 
magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, the Leicester City defence has presented a problem for their opponents time and again. What a record, Stuart. Well, their defensive game plan is second to none this season, and that comes down to the coach and his work on the training field. That doesn't happen by chance. This is planned, practised and perfected on a daily basis. Making progress. Can he finish? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Played over. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. It might still be problematic. Madison. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Hogan. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. To the owner of the rear hatchback blocking the emergency exit, please return to your vehicle. Janinho Bakuna. Now a good tackle. Daka. Christian Bielik. Scott Hogan now. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Well, as the stats confirm, Leicester have had the lion's share of possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Right, let's go to Alex Scott, because Alex, news of a goal in the Bournemouth game. It's a goal for Preston North End. It's now 1-0 with 41 minutes on the clock. Entertaining stuff so far here, Derek. Thanks as always, Alex. Can he finish this? Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get their due reward. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Leicester City uh, that will be that the first half is officially over and so far so good for Leicester they hold the advantage well we discussed it before the game they are a brilliant team defensively their decision making about when to press and when to delay the opposition has been spot on I just can't see them conceding today Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, I believe there's been a goal in the Bournemouth match. Alex has more. It's a goal for Bournemouth. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved, and once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 48 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, here's some transfer news you'll want to hear all about. Carvajal has completed his move to Chelsea. Well, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it? Oh, the chance is on, Stuart. Oh, that's a fine save. And a substitution in the offing. Played over. Well, no end product. Harvey Barnes. So Leicester looking to press home their advantage. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Madison. 
And now Ndidi. Did well to win the ball back. Just made sure nothing came of that. Well, the championship is such a competitive division and this is a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Birmingham City facing Norwich City. And teammates around him. A well, disappointing end to the move. Dini. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And fine goalkeeping. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Trying to pick out a teammate. Just 15 minutes remaining. This is looking threatening. It has to be! And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So, back underway, but the scoreline standing at 2-0. for the goalkeeper substitution then let's see how it affects the match and over it comes just wanted to get it out of there Harvey Barnes opportunity here and there it is that will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. was in the right place to intercept well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here he's in with a chance a goal an exceptional performance this four to the good now well just look at this again the speed of counter-attack is so impressive and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. A long shot. And that will be that. The referee says enough is enough. It's a win for Leicester City today. I wonder what you thoughts were as regards their performance. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know. But it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more. Just a couple of questions for you. No further questions, thanks.